Good morning, Little Mill. Today is Friday, January 24th. I'm Emma Tillerson. And I'm Kaylee Holmes. Lunch today. Chicken parmesan with spaghetti, two first mini burgers, hearty chili con carne with crackers or roll, and the vegetarian option. Today we are broadcasting on location from the newly improved media center. If you haven't stopped by yet, you should check it out the new furniture. The new space is designed for reading and hanging out. Please no food or drinks in the space. Eighth grade students planning on going on the Savannah trip. This announcement is for you. Your final Savannah payment is due by January 31st to your staying time teacher. If you applied for a scholarship, please make sure you are working on your community service hours. Service hours must be completed by April 22nd. You can see Ms. Porter if you have any questions about the trip. Today is hat day. Cost to wear a hat is only $1. Students, the Tuck Up is having a clearance sale on Mustang mugs. For $5, you can get one of the few mugs that are left. This no longer includes the three free drinks with the purchase. See the folks in the Tech Hub for more information. It's Friday. That means weekend weather. Dylan, how's the weather looking this weekend? Hi, my name is Dylan Jordan, and I'm here with the weekend weather. This weekend looks like a good one with lots of sun. Let's take a look. Friday's high temperature is 31 and the low is 18. 18 with no chance of precipitation except partially cloudy skies on Saturday with high temperatures around 45 and low and and the lows in the 20s. Hi, my name is Dylan Jordan and I'm here with the weekend weather. The weekend looks like a good one with lots of sun. Let's take a look. Friday's high temperature is 31 and the low is 18 with no chance of precipitation. Saturday, partly cloudy skies with uh, temperatures around 45 and in the lows and in the lows in the 20s. Sunday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 52 and the lows in the upper 20s. Enjoy the weekend. The long range forecast looks like the cold temperatures will continue next week. I'm Dylan Jordan and now back to the anchor desk. Thanks for the weather, Dylan. We're back to reviewing our conduct card expectations today. Let's take a look at expectation number six, following directions the first time they are given. Let's see more about this expectation. Good morning, students. I'm your principal, Mrs. McCrary, and I'm here to talk to you about our expectations from your discipline card, specifically expectation number six, follow directions the first time they are given. Doing what authoritative adults ask you to do is the way to show your teachers that you respect them and trust their judgment. By following directions the first time they are given, you are eliminating wasted time from other students' learning time. Remember, following directions the first time they are given is just the way we do things around here. Please watch this short video about following this expectation. Okay guys, that was the bell. It's time to put your technology away, please. And let's get busy on that math homework. I know you guys just took a test, so you're starting something new. So let's get math homework out and see what we need help with. I'm on my way. Excellent. Technology is away. Jacob, your technology is still out. Oh. I need your conduct card, please. So, conduct card expectation number six is that you will follow directions the first time that they're given. And even with someone reminding you. It still took a couple of times for you to get that put away. So that's going to be a mark. Students, we have one final announcement. The Pen and Paper Club will meet this coming Monday after school until 5.30 p.m. Please see Ms. Ferris if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the Mustang 5 News. Have a great day!